in this video, I want to talk about the second stage, which is all about the design of operational controls. Providing effective security to protect your data is an important element of GDPR compliance, of course. But a holistic approach to data's dynamic value, its changing stages over a life cycle, its overall behavior and its known normal characteristics can all provide invaluable, actionable insight. Coupled with effective integrated security measures, we intend for this to shape and evolve our approach to data handling, leading to a much smoother, consistent road to GDPR compliance for the long term. So, as with all the videos in this series, I'd like to share with you our key considerations at this stage. The first key consideration is in training our business on how data is to be collected and managed going forward. Here the marketing department is a big player, as the collection of personal data extends from usernames and workstation IDs to the less obvious information including, but not limited to, IP addresses and connection times. Also important here is the consent of individuals to use their data for communication purposes. We are actively going through a screening process of marketing data to check whether customers and prospects are willing to continue receiving communications from us, as well as implementing a double opt-in process for future communication. For us, security is high on our agenda anyway, as we already have an exchange of data happening with our customers. The implementation of internal access controls will be the biggest challenge as we don't want to hamper the efforts of our engineering department in devising new solutions, so their access to customer data is essential. Making sure this data is anonymized will be something we tackle at a later date. The second key consideration is to build a data incident breach response plan that is in accordance with the requirements of GDPR. Here Article 31 of the regulation sets out a rule that requires data controllers to notify the appropriate supervisory authority of any personal data breach within 72 hours of learning about the breach. Putting in place solutions that alert you quickly to any data breach issues should be an essential part of your strategy. We are achieving this through a combination of Juniper Secure Analytics and Sky Advanced Threat Protection. You can learn more about both in our GDPR Content Hub. We take a network-first approach to data and security, with a particular emphasis on securing your data through a fundamental understanding of the way both your network and data behaves on a day-to-day -day basis. Look out for more videos in this series where I discuss the onward stages in our GDPR journey. And in the meantime, learn more about our GDPR journey here.